Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I've had a lot of fun in Procreate and I've made some pointillism brushes. So these are the pointillism brushes that I've got. Uh, I want to go through working from the bottom upwards. So I've got a brush called, called uh, well you can't see it there, but it says pointillism ground I believe so basically what that means is uh, I'm just going to bring my color palette onto the uh, screen you do that by just uh, grabbing that slide bar a little bar above the word colors to bring it in and um, let's just choose a blue and basically I'm just using that as to paint a, a ground color can vary it so because you don't want to be painting directly over the dots but you can see here we've got some um, changing color as well it's very close on the color wheel so analogous colors that uh, it's blending into so that it sort of stays in keeping with the effect that we're trying to look so that's the ground brush that you can use quickly to get in your background uh, then we go to the next brush we have a pointillism large so i'll need to zoom in on this a little bit let's change the color i'm going to make it a blue and fairly dark so you see it on here and there you can see it um put some dots on let's make it pure color and again we get a variety of color it's analogous really staying within a, a very tight band of the color wheel so you could sort of put blue on and then you could choose a red and go over it to build up complementary color schemes and things so that's for covering large areas and you can see i mean this is a 16 by 24 inch by 300 dots per inch canvas so it's covering quite a, a big area of that but the problem with this brush is if i shrink it the dots become tiny and then it, it doesn't work so you need some brushes that are similar um well the dot size are the same but the brush is much smaller so i've created a set of brushes so the next one would be the detail brush so you can see i'm working in a much smaller area but the brush size is pretty much the same and if it's not you can just tweak it a little bit so you can paint with different size dots but you need to sort of calibrate the three brush different types of brushes that we've got so that's the uh, detail brush and then we've got one more the liner brush and this is if you want to paint fine lines so we could come in here and put a mid Magenta line within that, or maybe a white line, a highlight around something, but it's still dots, and you can use that for sketching as well. So, those are the three brushes, and it keeps the dots the same size, although the dots do vary because I've got a bit of randomization in it, so they're not all exactly the same size they sort of average out and give you this nice effect so they're all the kind of colors that mix together with um analogous colors or colors next to each other on the color wheel and i've got the same three brushes again but this time they're just monochromatic so it's just one one color so if you wanted to lay down say just a, a single color you can do that and then you could overlay it with a different color oops like that so we've got the um mono large mono detail and of course the mono liner so I'm going to work on a, a square canvas and I'm going to choose my uh, ground brush 
and I'm just going to put in some local colour on this background and I'm thinking that we need some blue maybe a bit, a bit lighter than that just sort of getting in some of these local colours and then they will um, make it a lot easier for putting in the pointillism after just really just very vague I notice when I was looking at some pointillism paintings like you know by the masters as it were uh, they got uh, some areas were, were quite large empty spaces negative space so I thought I that's why I picked this composition really because I, I wanted to get that empty space in there where it's just sort of full of dots so we'll see how that works out um, I'm hoping it's going to be okay Get this big ball in. I thought this would be also nice because we've got this ball and it'd be interesting to see if we can get the form with the pointillism. That's the plan behind that anyway. It's a bit blue perhaps that, but never mind. So that's sort of got the old canvas covered. Really excited about this. Uh, I am going to um, lock that layer. Which way do I go? Lock it, that's it. Been ages since I've used Procreate. Uh, quite a while. So I've sort of had to keep refreshing myself how to do things. So I want the large brush and I'm going with the one with that does the colors. And I'm going to um, begin with the sky. That brush is probably about right. So you can see straight away. I mean, it's so quick. Could you imagine having to put all of these dots in manually? It would take you forever. Also working on a square canvas, it works quite nice that you can see a lot of the area quite a bit of the time I'm not sort of having to keep zooming in and, and zooming out quite so much I do like this in the photo it's a, the sky's a little bit more green but I have messed about with the um, with the colours in the photo, it is different. It, it, it's very different to painting uh, with a normal brush and changing the size because you can't. It's tempting to change the size, and you can't because if you do, you're gonna mess up the size of the dots so you have to sort of work within the, uh, the parameters of wanting to keep these dots the same size all the time but with the large brush you can see um, you know it builds up fairly quick fairly quickly we're getting this picture together It seems when you choose dark colours, you don't see the um, analogous colours that are presented quite so easily. I am going to go over these with the with the detail brush. So we need to come up with a bit of colour. In 
the dogs. So I'm imagining the lights coming from the right. It's almost looking like looking through a piece of frosted glass. I'm still sort of just doing the same thing as getting in the um, background detail, I suppose. Still doing that. Oh, I, mean, I think I'm ready for a new iPad, you know. This one keeps locking up. I don't know if it's, oh, here we are, we're back in business. I don't know if it's because the sort of process is under a lot of pressure or, or what. While I've got this selected, I'm just going to put in some of these dots for this huge bulb shape. I'm surprised how quick I can uh, get this together or, or get the drawing done. I've also done some brushes, you know, for Art Rage. If you use Art Rage, I've done a similar set of brushes for that. In fact, that's what's inspired me to um, paint uh, to make these brushes. Really, let's have a look. I think I've got this grass. Not quite right there, it's better. So I've got this huge expanse that I'm gonna just fill in. In fact, I think I need to just go back to the, unlock this layer, go back to that, change my brush back to the, uh, am I on the right layer? I'm not, am I? Yeah, I am, I'm on the right layer. I just want to get rid of that green that was there. Maybe just put a little bit of sh shadow work in there. Just gives me an idea of where I'm going. Okay, and maybe just pick that color up there that there a little bit that's it I just wanted to get them in just to redefine that background so I can lock that there again now get back onto this one oops changed me brush back to the large pointillism brush I'm just putting colours on this big empty space. So I'm going to vary it up a little bit. Maybe put some warmer colours in there as well. This is going to be, because it's empty, I do want some colour in there. 
I don't want it just to be flat. I want it to sparkle a little bit. Maybe with some highlights. As well. So when I put these people in, they're going to um, contrast quite nicely against this light ground. So, yeah, that's looking good. The iPad's dying. It's dying on me. I've got it plugged in and it's um, doesn't seem to be charging up very fast, which is unfortunate. I'm getting close to wanting to swap to the uh, second size brush, I guess. The detail brush, because I want to get this building in. I want to get the people in. Yeah, there we are. So I am going to lock that layer. That's sort of the background done. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm not changing anything like blending modes or anything like that. I'm now going to go down to the detail brush, which will give me the same size dots, hopefully, but a much smaller footprint so I can get detail in, so I could start doing these buildings, let's say. So if I choose a smaller, or the, the detail brush, you can see how I can now start getting in the detail of this ridge on the building. Okay. I think my ball is a bit on the large side actually when I look at this. Because I've got some, but you know what? I think I'm going to leave it. I like the way it's sort of chopping into it. So tempting to um, change the brush size. not going to there we go there's purple color Might be a bit too dark actually. Let's just undo that. That's better. Still with this detail brush. Um. <laughs> 
was totally going the wrong direction. That's better. And then I can A bit of shadow under there. Start putting in the detail of some of these bushes that are overhanging. Like that. I'm just sort of changing this a little bit. I like this dark next to this circle. And then I can paint the people into that. So sort of bring that down there. That's in shadow a bit. Yeah, like it. Some detail on this stone ball. So I'll open define it, and because I'm using the detail brush now, I can. Um, start hardening up the edges like that Trying to get a texture on this sphere. Got some green on there as well, so I should probably try and put a little bit of that in. So we can see the dots going in there quite nice now. And I don't know what this is. It's just some sort of, it's like a, a growth on the stone, pale. My pen seems to have died. What's going off? back in business there 
Let's go back to the purple colour. Start to shape this up a bit. That's a bit more defined. And we can go and make it even more defined when I get the fine, the really fine brush in. I like that yellow. I'm going to try and get some of that up here. mossy greens popping them in there a little bit and down here so that's also giving form to the drawing or the painting I've got to get these people in, haven't I, really? But before I do that, I just want to do this edge. The water line. And I'm just sort of making like a tangent next to that spear. I think that's quite cool, actually. Yeah, that's good. Shuffling around in my chair like that, sorry. Time to put the people in. We'll be in a minute. Let's do it, Steve. Stop messing about. Shall we have a new layer for this? I think that might be a good idea and I can just sort of resize them if I need to so going in there like that So I don't like where they are. I'm just going to um, move them. Oops. Probably put them there. I think that's better. Yeah. Like this. About the right height and everything. So now I can go in with my fine brush. linear one 
and really just start to think about the detail. I'm just going to rub a little bit of that out. These are on their own layer, so it's not going to affect anything else. I like that thin leg. I want them joining like they're a couple well they probably are a couple but I want it more defined in my painting just going to take some of this head off It's a cold winter's day. Let's just pop in a bit of colour. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let's put a bit of light on them. Just on the... Side that's catching the light. And we've got a bit of a shadow. So we could put that in, I suppose. Maybe I want the um, detail brush for the shadow. If you put very light pressure on, you get... Um, a lighter effect as well it doesn't uh, put quite so much color on there right now I've got this detail brush I can um, just go around this building a little bit oh I've got the I meant I want the fine detail brush this one So I can really come in here and um, make these shapes quite defined. Put 
wrapped in little bushes and things that would be impossible with the other brushes but the dots are still roughly the same size That's it. I think that's a rather nice pointillism painting. I need to sign it. So do I sign it with this brush? Let's see. You know what? That will work, but I'm going to choose a pinky tone. Just so it ties in with the background better. There. Pointillism in Procreate. Um, thank you for stopping with me till the end. Um, that's much appreciated. You're very brave. Uh, if you like the video, please consider giving me uh, a like and a share because all of that helps the channel out uh, immensely and it encourage you know somebody likes the um somebody likes painting it's sort of real encouragement to to go and do more so yeah uh, lots of <laughs> lots of likes please just can't stop can i and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos, lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.